Hello and welcome to Brain Please Don't, given to me by the people at Pretty Gaming. As you can see from the warning, there is going to be a lot of talk about issues of mental health and trauma. If you are a person who gets triggered by any of these, please stop watching now. Brain Please Don't reflects its creator's experiences, understanding of mental issues and limited careful research, but is not a clinical general representation of the depicted issues. Again, if you're triggered by any of this, please stop the video and go watch something else. Thank you for watching. You will play a few days of Cameron's life, a 17 year old high schooler in their junior year. See if you can leave them better off at the end of the week than they were at the start. But first, let's get to know Cameron. What issues is Cameron facing? Pick at least two, more for higher difficulty. Demanding parents, attention deficits, bipolar tendencies, high anxiety, frequent depression, social ineptitude, facing bullying, addiction, negative body image, and failing academically. We'll go with something that a lot of people face. So, demanding parents and bullying. What coping behaviours is Cameron engaging pick no more than the number of issues so two for two taking antidepressants taking anti-anxiety medication mood stabilizers smoking weed alcohol close friends gaming frequently a lot of social media religion and sports we'll go with friends and we'll go with alcohol dependency february 3rd monday that's coming up soon actually well first you will guide cameron's choices managing their thoughts and emotions through playing cards that reflect their inner life having good stats unlocks new options what cards are available depends on what background you choose for cameron the people you are walking to school with already crossed the stream but the light just turned red as you are about to also cross you might be able to still make it across let them go on ahead without you while you wait for the next green. Okay, so I can't use any of these. I can only go without. Oh dear, that's not going well. So zero close off, zero anxiety, zero untrust. Okay, so we're not we're not calm, we're not open, we're not confident. You're finishing up a school project with your friend Parker. Bored, bored, I'm bored, bored, bored. Let's just copy paste some Wikipedia and be done with this. I can't do any of this. Whatever they say. Let's turn that music down a little. Because I can't even hear myself now. There we go. A little later, as you're hanging out, Parker mutters offhandedly. Sorry I'm so low energy about this. My folks were yelling at each other loud and late into the night. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I guess... Oh, I've had a mood swing? I'm really not sure how this works. February 4th, Tuesday. A new day. Sats at zero, get one. Sats at four, get minus one. Okay. You see your school counsellor approach you. Hey Cameron, how are things? Mm, mandatory positive answer. I admit things are a little difficult. Would you like to have lunch with me in my office? Talk things out a bit. Hmm. Refuse. You don't want people to think you're crazy. When you're at your low moods, you don't want to really interact with people, I guess. Your friend Parker approaches you. Yo, did you see that Conqueror's episode last night? Wasn't it nuts? Parker only talks to you to be polite anyway. But dependency isn't good. Nod and say I was pretty cool. So, Pi said eight. McKaylin's folks are out of town. Hmm. Would be nice to actually go to a party, I guess. But, nah. 
Oh, that's not going well. I like the concept. It's very experimental, this game. Fair brief it, Wednesday. It's very hard hitting as well because you don't know what to do to actually get out of the situation you're in. You have a big history test coming up this afternoon on Civil War. You could sit down and cram a strong recap for it. Um, would this help? No, it's not going to work. Nah, no, this is going to work. Oh. Mm. It's really hard to know what you're doing right. Your mum starts talking to you about her work over dinner. That project with the Swedes is really coming together nicely at work. Tell her you don't care, or infusely congratulate her. Thanks for being such a great kid, hun. Um, we can put the openness up a bit. Thank her for being a great parent, maybe? So how's school? <laughs> Tell her to fuck off. Hold it. Say it's fine and nothing more. Keep looking into your phone. Make a small recap about personal matters. Let's see if this goes well. So I have therapy tonight. Would you like to come along? Talk out some parent-child stuff. Tell her you're not a child, you're not coming. Say you're coming, but you better not try to get at your personal life. That could help, potentially. Potentially. I mean, therapy is really good at helping people sometimes. Therapy, uh, February 6th, Thursday. Well, openness has gone up, but the rest is still quite low. You see a school counsellor approach you again. How about today? Would you like to talk over lunch? Eat in my office? Sounds fine. The concert's cool. Have lunch with her. So we're getting somewhere at least. That asshole even approaches you. Well, well, if it isn't Chlamydia Cameron. Be quiet, Mildred. I'll leave you alone. Where's your loser friend? about this no it's not gonna work is it focus on willpower nah we don't have enough willpower oof typical bully February 7th Friday these things are eh, still not looking good you stare at the ceiling this morning, just considering your identity. Who or what are you? I'm just like everyone else. What about the people around you? Who are they? Mm, who are they? I haven't got any cards I'd help. Useless fucking zombies, I guess. Your mum seems to be sulking in the kitchen. Hmm. I don't have anything that would actually help. I would just bring my mood down. I don't really like the idea of telling mum you don't care. February 8th, Saturday. You're going to a party late tonight and are trying to buy contraceptives in case you end up having sex. Draw some new cards. Mm. Uh, no, none of these are going to help, are they? It's just going to make everything negative again. Heh, Stuart ha was insane to do that with, room with the Roomba, but Kellen's dad is going to flip his shit when he sees. Where's that vodka? Shrug, you don't belong here, go home. So Catherine had some in the backyard. It's nice to have a bit of willpower back. There we go. Ethan approaches and me meanly sneers at you. Oh man, did they just let anyone into these things, huh? We're doing well right now. Ugh, I talk too soon. Look down and go to another room. Hey Cameron, having fun? 
Nope. Yes, this is really not going well. I wonder who those people are. Are they like painted or are they actually photos have been um, modified? February 9th, Sunday. Oh, why didn't that do it down? And tomorrow's fucking Monday again. Groan. Well, at least we can put the calm up a bit more. Mm, confidence, I guess? It's a bit of a balancing game as well. Mm. Nothing I can do is gonna up it. After all, last night was... Mm, nice to get out. I like the music as well. It's very, um, very, um, I, I suppose you call it lo-fi. You realise you've somehow come home from the party wearing Taylor's jacket. You wake up to a text from them asking if they can come over and get a bag. Ignore the text. You can't believe you did that. Text them back and say there's no need. You'll bring it to him in school tomorrow. Say sure, set time. I suppose it's the highest thing we can do, so let's go with that. You've invited Taylor over, handed them their jacket and had some idle chit chat. Yeah, theatre club is awesome. You should try out next year, even if you're senior. It's your senior year. Let's see what happens if I do these. Politely say goodbye, but keep texting them later that day. It's nice to make a friend, I suppose. Might make the circle of friends a bit bigger. Cameron will continue to be broken in various ways, like all of us. But maybe just after this week, just a little less broken. So, uh, it's, um, I understand the game concept. You're with someone who's got issues, like all of us, we all have issues. Only problem is, um, what's the right, right way to go about everything? Because you've got choices, you've got the cards, and you've got the conversation option to go with. What is the correct way to do everything? To make sure that Cameron is going to be okay. For those of you who have mental health issues, you are not alone. Don't ever think you're alone. There is always support out there for you. It's just going to take a little bit of digging to find it sometimes. You have your teachers, you have mental um, health specialists such as therapists and psychologists. You have your doctors, nurses, friends. And whilst your family might not always understand you, your family are there for you too. Anyway, I'm going to give this game another go at some point. I'm not sure when, but I will give it a go. So, this has been Brain. Please don't. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.